One of the considerations you have for wearables is that some watches are round, and this is a new screen shape that has never been dealt with before. So if you're designing a wearable app, you could have a round watch or a square watch. There are two ways to deal with this. You could design separate layouts for round and square watches, or you can design everything for a square and use what we call a box inset layout to ensure that the content always fits within the circle. The downside is that it wastes this space on the edges. The nice part about box inset layout is that it provides a box for your app to draw in and it promises that it will never make the square leak outside the round area. There is a sample called delayed confirmation that uses box inset layout. Let's start this sample up. File, import sample, delayed confirmation, next, and then create the sample with the defaults. This sample is a bit tricky to run since it was not meant to be used without a phone app triggering it off. You cannot run it using the green play button like usual. If you try to run it, it'll prompt you to select a default activity, but it can't find one. This is the error message that you'll get. So to fix this, we need to load up the Android manifest file and make a correction. We add Android exported equals true for the activity, and now it'll be able to be found. So we go to run it. We also specify the default activity. So we select main activity here, and now we can run it on the device. We select our device and we hit OK. So you can see it has added padding to the top for the round display, but not anywhere else. Let's open up the layout mainactivity.xml. You can see there is an app layout box equals top here. If you change it to all, it'll box all the sides of the display. If you set it to none or forget to add this, the box and set layout will do nothing. So make sure you get this right. Let's run it again now. After making this change, you can see it working and now boxing all sides. An easy but inefficient way of designing is to always design for a round shape and never ever put anything in any of the corners on the edges. This is easy because you only need to maintain a single layout. However, the downside is that the unused corners on the square watch might look weird and it wastes a lot of space. So it's probably not a great idea. Finally, the most complete way to do layouts for round and square is to use watch view stub. This layout will inflate either the rect layout or the round layout, depending on the screen shape. You can specify two separate layout files and do a completely independent layout for both types. The sample that we compiled and ran at the start of this lesson used watch view stub to show either hello round world or hello square world. The catch with this layout is that you need to carefully maintain both layouts, making sure that the same IDs are present in both files.